In this video, we are going to learn about save and couple of export options. So for example, I have created this entire flow diagram and I know there are few more work I have to do it tomorrow. Now you would like to save it. Hit on file and hit on save. By default, the extension that it is going to save for task capture process document is .ssp dot ssp i am going to provide a name let it be complex business process let me select <clears throat> let's say desktop that's okay hit on save now if i have to open it tomorrow okay for example i'm going to close the task capture and next day i would like to open this one you can directly click on the file that you have open the ssp file that is anyway is going to open the task capture for you this is one option and you can see the process that I had designed yesterday has now opened for me. This is one way. The other way to open is file open. I'm going to say no for the moment. And I'm going to also select the file and open it for editing next time. Okay, so this is one way of saving and editing next time. The other thing, let's look at a couple of export option. So in the export option, you have got DOCX, this is nothing but your PDD. You have got XAML, JPG, these are the couple of the formats. Now let me try with the word.docx. Now here it will ask you to, if you want to change your name and things like that, you can do it. You can add description. Hit on next. And here you it provides you two different templates. Automation hub template and UiPath PDD template. Let's say I'm going to click on this three dots and I'm going to click on edit template. Now, this is a default template. Do you want to generate a copy and edit it? So, of course, you have to say OK, because this is a default template. You cannot directly do changes here. So, now let's say I've created a template. I would like to place it in brandings. Let's say customer process document. And then I want to enter here. I will say customer PD version 1. Let's say, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close this. Now let's go back to task capture. So what happens once once you have your automation, um, the new copy that I have created, right? You can see the date. Um, let me click on this edit template. This is a default. template. Okay, this is a default template. I think this is the one which we have created. Now let's rename the template to let's say customer copy and save it. Okay, now if you open this particular, uh, you know, if, if I select this and click on export and hit on save, do you want to replace it? Yes. An error occurred while updating the document. Please try again. If the issue persists, contact the support team. Okay, let's try again. So let's click on file, export, word, hit on next. I'm going to click on customer copy. I'm going to click on export. Uh, I'll give it a different name, maybe. Uh, customer copy one, let's say. Hit on save. Okay, it completed. Now you can see it has completed. Let's open file. Now, if you see the changes that I have made, right? It is not just here. The entire document, you can make changes. And you can save it as a template and later on you can use it. The branding, you want to place certain logos and XYZ, right? You can do a lot many changes uh, to, to specifically meet the customer need. So once this template is created, you will see all the uh, diagrams that you have created that automatically comes over here. Uh, detailed level process map, how many number of clicks, what are the windows you have worked on. Uh, things like that and it also give you the screenshot of all these things right click on work items so all those things that you have done it is going to capture all the screenshots moreover let's go back to task capture now the task capture let's do once again file export and click on word hit on next here you also have option let's say i want to you want to increase the image quality you want to make the image size large. 
see as you make it this is also going to impact the size of the file the size of the file will definitely increase or decrease based on how what are the options you are selecting you lower it the size would be lower if you make it high of course the size of the file will be high i'm going to click on let's say export okay i'm going to keep uh, i'll give some other name let's say customer customer copy to for example and i'm going to hit on save let's see what is the difference that happened just because i made few editing now if i scroll down see you will get a higher quality image you can see you can see the uh, the quality of the image right you can see it uh, very nicely it is coming compared to the pre previous one and also the size of your images has gone high okay so you have a very little space to type rest of things so it's up to you to adjust and based on the need you can do things so here also you have option to type so here you can type whatever you want okay okay so like that you can see the image quality has gone literally high so based on the need you can do and export the way you want it let's once again click on file export this is also another format okay for example ui path pdd the same thing you can do it with this edit template this is a default format click on okay and then it creates a default format so based on the need the similar process you have to follow this is the sort outlook of this file is slightly different than the automation hub template so based on the need you can go ahead and make changes the color scheme is slightly different okay now let me close this let's go back to task capture so these are the couple of the options you can try to utilize it okay now um now once you have created a copy let me select it click on export and give it some name complex business process uh copy four three for example yeah i'm putting some sudden name let's see how this one appears with the entire diagram open file okay you can see how this one appears okay so this also looks pretty much um, good um, so based on the need you can make your changes now the next thing file export this another option called dot xaml now this would be very very helpful for the developers now how i'll tell you for example i'm going to click on uipath studio xaml okay uh, i will use modern activities hit on export and i'm going to create a xaml for here in the desktop only it's creating it's okay you can change your location and i'm going to open file now what happened because it's a xaml it's going to open it in uipath studio you can see the uipath studio has opened now with the new 2025 version you might see this kind of errors okay this is all happening because of a package which is currently missing which is uipath automation activity so you can see it has created a xaml for you do you see it has created a xaml for you and it is showing all the different uh, documents right that we have created in currently we have created certain documents so it is all appearing here so based on the folder you are going to save it it, it may not show you if you want the doc uh, the pdd also to be here you can also uh, do all that and it will appear in that same folder now what i am going to do i am going to click on manage packages all packages or ui automation yeah this one ui path ui automation activities now this is the one i am going to install and it on save okay now once it is saved you see all the issues that i had has been resolved okay now how it is helping you now you can do slight uh, modification as you need okay so that it looks a little more cleaner and make more sense you can adjust things accordingly okay uh, all right now what how it is helping you i'll tell you okay how how this is uh, helping you for example log into acme okay so log into acme if i click what it appears if i click on use browser uh, search for wi for work item do you know the in the last video we have actually clicked on the specific item so i'm going to go inside this and if i go inside this let me minimize this 
it has already captured certain click activity so for example here i clicked on the work items then i clicked on uh, the wi4 and if you look at the property of this click activity it has already captured the uh, the selectors for you now the selectors you may need to edit it based on the need okay but most of the things are pre-made for you you have to of course as a developer to make it fully functional you have to definitely make editing to some of the activities so it will save a lot of time you have already a built-in workflow pre created for you all you have to do is making modifications now this feature is one of the useful feature what i felt from um, from the exercise we have done so this is absolutely a useful one i got all my activities created now i would have to spend a very very less time probably to do the coding not necessary but again yeah it might help you to a good extent coming back to task capture the couple of other options that you have for example you have uh, you can export as jpg then you have studio x dot um, all these different options you can try out for example let me show you in the jpeg format how it appears okay now once this export is done let me open it see the jpeg format let's you would like to share only this flow to the business just to see if the flow is proper or not so that a high level feedback you can quickly get it uh, from the business team or the operations teams right this this so these are the couple of great options uh, that are available with task capture for the rpa community to start using all these options all right so that's it in this video thank you for watching let's meet once again in our next content